Okay, so we're in our second video. In this video, we're going to look at um, the standard order. That how do you do that in the new virtual office? And just some of the other additional features that's available in your new virtual office. So let me quickly do a share screen. Okay, so we're here. So if I click send the order, and again, I'm saying this for people who may be very new um, in Young Living. So if you're not an essential reward, which is a monthly order program, you could possibly be on standard order, which just means that um, you order products as and when you want to. These orders don't earn you, don't earn you any rebates, etc. But they are still available for promos. You know, say for example, Young Living does um, 270 PV promos or 350 PV promos. You could do a standard reward order, a standard order, sorry, standard order, and you can still avail to that um, promotion, okay? So it's a one-time order. Let's just take a look at it. So if I was to click standard order, I will come into this page, which you have already seen earlier on in the video. Again, don't go into panic now that items are put into categories. They just want to have some sort of system. If you can't remember what category they sit in, use your search function. So let's just say I am going to search for frankincense. This pops up, okay? By the way, you look right at the bottom here. This is what is on my list right now and I have not processed it, okay? That's why it's still sitting there. Um, I have in my cut um, sacred frankincense, three and geranium one. And this is at 310.5 PV, okay? Um, and if you scroll all the way up, there's this little shopping cart icon here that will always show you what is still sitting inside your cart that is not processed for any orders yet. So that's a nice little, little feature there, okay? Um, and let's just say I increase my order of sacred frankincense to four. Okay, the minute I do that, I qualify for a particular PV promotion and my free items will immediately show up in my cut right now. So you can see straight away. Now I have to tell you this, that during the trial or the test um, session that we had, they had a little pop-up box that even prompts us. Say, for example, you're at 300 PV and there's a 350 PV promo. So the little box will pop up and just kind of let you know there's a 350 PV promo that's happening that if you want to add a few more products, you're going to avail yourself to that promotion. Right now on my screen, it hasn't showed up yet. They are still kind of like just working through some of these tiny details, but this alone is a great feature to just let you know your free items are already included. Okay, I just want to also show you right over here, member resources, very much like your old uh, virtual office. This is where you can download tons of information if you don't already know. You can look at your March full month special, um, what's the Easter special, what's the March training calendar. You can, if you're building the business, you can, you know, download compensation flyer. Um, if you want to have something being done at your workplace, you can make requests or download the forms here. So tons of tons of information here. And then you have this section called My Account. Okay, that's my pretty face over there. <laughs> okay, you're going to see the number ID, current rank, total number of the team, um, details. What I love about this, it's, it also shows you leadership line, which means person who enrolled you, person who is sponsoring you. So from there, if you choose to, let's just say you are somewhere in the organization and you have no clue who to contact because either you were placed there um, or a friend recommended and you, you have very little clue about what's going on. So you want to find out who's your sponsor, okay? You can click that on and choose to call the person 
or choose to drop the person an email and just contact the person who's sponsoring you, which means this person is just directly, you know, above you in the organizational structure and find um, support from there. Amazing. Okay. There are other things in here. For example, you can go look at your recent orders. You can trace back every single order that has happened through your account so you can keep track of things. You can come here and look at commission, okay? You can come here, um, address book, your wallet, which means the credit cards that you want to put on file. Um, what is this one? Preferences. Oh, it just basically is whether you want to make a donation, etc. cetera. Um, whether you want your downline to be able to contact you or your uplines to be able to contact you. Yeah. So um, these are just really, really awesome features that has been added. And I'm not able to show you this one right now, but if you go back to your dashboard, if you're a business builder, there are tons of reports over there that allows you to download information so that you can track what's going on in your organization, uh, how to contact them, who are the members that might be going inactive and you want to be able to reach out and give them a support call. Uh, these information are right now all in downloadable format. So it's, it's brilliant. Okay, I cannot see why you don't want to shift over to the new virtual office. So do that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If we don't know, we'll help you ask. And if nobody knows, we'll ask Young Living, right? Okay, let's all transit through this. Um, the faster you do this, the quicker you're going to be able to pick up lots of information and be well supported through this. The old virtual office will eventually be phased out. So you don't want to wait until that time, okay? So let's do that now. Okay, see you guys around very soon. Bye.